everyone. It's Miss A. I miss all of my friends dearly, and I'm so glad to see you and hope to see you in person soon. For all the parents out there, I'm one of the speech language pathologists at Palmer Public Schools, and today I'll be reading a story um, and kind of showing you how to target speech and language objectives with your children, as I would. Um, Mrs. C, our certified occupational therapist, and I often um, come up with a theme for a week and then we modify it for our students to target their speech and language objectives, their fine motor, and their gross motor skills. So we often do this lesson um, within the general education classrooms as well, so everyone gets practice with it. So feel free to use it with all your children. And I'm going to be going through some tips. So today we'll be reading Bear Wants More by Karma Wilson. And during that time, I'm going to be targeting six different areas. So the first is total communication and core words. So if this is something your child's working on, we're going to be working on the signs more, want, and eat. And if your child's not working on these, they can also play along and use the signs. And if your child's using picture icons or modified signs, you can also help them by guiding their hands gently for more. So you're going to put your hand over their two hands and bring them close. If you're doing want, you can use their outreached hand, turn it around and bring it this way for a modified sign of want. And for eat, you're going to hold their hand together and bring it to their mouth to help them sign eat. You can also model this as well for your child. The second area, area I'm going to be working on is speech sounds. Today I'm mostly going to be working on m mm and b for more and bear, but also I'm going to be pointing out some other words to target that you can play along with. And at the end of the story, or after the story is done, you can try to go around the house and find as many things that start with M mm or B as possible. Parents, I want you to help out with this and try to find some things and give them some choices. You might go help them and be like, hmm, does mouse or phone start with M mm? so that they can have some options if they're at that level. The third area I'll be targeting is WH questions. So as I'm reading the story, I'm going to be reading it as I would to my students. So I'll be asking a question and pausing a little bit before I provide the correct answer. So if you want to play along at home, you can have your parents or you can pause the video and see if you can guess the answer to the question and then press play again and see if you got it right. And if they got it wrong, that's okay too. We're all learning and we can read it multiple times until we get it. The fourth area I'm going to be targeting is inferencing and recalling. So that's just, hmm, can you predict what's going to happen next in a story? And then when we finish the story, can you remember the things that happened? So we'll go through that when a story, as a story goes on and when it's done. The fifth area we're going to target is gross motor skills, so getting those muscles going. So a good break after sitting down and reading a story is to do some dancing or movement. So I'm going to work on following directions and we're going to act out some of what Bear and his friends do in the story. And then the sixth area we're going to target today, well, Mrs. C is going to target it. After I'm done reading, she's going to hop on and show you a craft that you can do at home. So that'll be a good way to work on getting your fingers going and all those little fine motor skills that she's going to do with you in a fun way that you can do at home. Bear Wants More by Karma Wilson. Let's look at this story. What do you think it's going to be about? Yeah, it might be about a bear. We can use our nice I see statements with our snake sound. Let's try that. I see. I see a bear. He's definitely going to be in the story. I see a mouse. Ooh, that starts with our mmm sound, our yummy mouse. I see, yeah, that's a bunny. But in this story, he's going to be called hair. Hair is a, another word for bunny or rabbit. I see a badger. That's where their b sound. Let's try badger, bear. Those so, both start with b. Next. Anyone know what this is? Hmm. Does look like a mouse, but this is our mouse. I see a gopher. That's our good back sound. Our mouth is open, our tongue is back. Go fur. Let's try. Go fur. You're right, that also has our bite lip sound. Go fur. And I also see a raven. That has our bite sound in it too. 
when springtime comes in his warm winter den, a bear wakes up very hungry and thin. Hmm. Who woke up? That's right, it's bear. He waddles outside and roots all around. He digs and he paws fresh shoots from the ground. What is Bear doing? You're right, he's digging. Bear is digging. He nibbles on his lawn till the last blade is gone. But Bear wants more. Is Bear still hungry? Yes, he is. What do you think Bear was eating? Hmm, it's hard to see here, but he has green all around him. They're stirred up with a lot of green. Now there's brown. What do you think he was eating? Yeah, he was eating grass. Let's try our back sound. Grass. But he wants more. Let's try that all together. He can say, he wants more. He's still hungry. Oh, look, who's this? Hmm, let's see. Looks like it's Mouse. Mouse scampers by with the acorn pail. It's the top of the acorn. Come along, Mouse squeaks to Strawberry Vale. What do you think they're going to eat next? Let me read it again. Come along, says Mouse to Strawberry Vale. Yeah, they're gonna try to eat some strawberries. That has a lot of sounds in it. Let's try that slow. Strawberries. So Mouse hops on top of Bear. Where is Mouse? Is he on top or under Bear? Look closely. That's right. Mouse is on top of Bear. So up Mouse hops onto Bear's big back. They tromp through the woods for a fresh fruit snack. Do you remember what that snack was? It's a fruit and it's red. It's a strawberry. The berries grow sweet and they eat, eat, eat. What did they eat? I don't think there's any left. They ate the strawberries. Who ate the strawberries? It was bear and mouse. They ate the strawberries. But guess what? Bear wants more. He's still hungry. Ooh. Who's this? Who's next? That is a bunny. What's another word for a bunny? That's right, a rabbit. A rabbit is another word. But here, his name is Hare. That's our hot sound. Let's try Hare. Kind of like the hair on our head. The noon sun glows when a long hops hair. Good day, friend mouse. How do you do, friend bear? I'm hungry, roars bear. Hare says, follow me. There's a fresh clover patch by the cottonwood tree. Hmm, what are they doing? That's right, they are going. They're going where? Hmm. Let me read it again. Follow me, said Hare. There's a clover patch by the tree. Where are they going? To the tree. They nibble on their lunch with a crunch, crunch, crunch. Mm, bear is crunching. Let's try. Bear is Crunching. Crunching. That's a hard word. Let's try it again. Crunching. Oh no. 
Do you think Bear is still hungry? You're right. Bear wants more. He's still hungry. What do you think he's going to do? You're right. He's going to look for some more food. Ooh. What animal is this? Kind of looks like a raccoon. This is a badger. That has our good bow sound. Let's try badger. Front sound first. Pop those lips, then bring that tongue back and your mouth open. Badger. Good job trying. Ooh, badger shuffles by with his fishing pole. There's a fine fish feast at the fishing pole. What do you think they're going to do if badger has a fishing pole? You're right, they're gonna go fishing. They are gonna go fishing. They head to the pond and they sit by the shore. Bear catches a, what do you think he's gonna catch? They're going fishing. Hmm. That's right, they're gonna catch a fish. Let's try that, our bite lip sound. Fish. Fish. Good job trying. Hmm. But, what do you think Bear wants? You're right, Bear wants more. He's still hungry. Ooh, what do you think he's going to do with that fish? He's going to eat. He eats fish. Meanwhile, back at the big bear's den, Gopher waits with Mole and Raven and Wren. It's a lot of friends. They bake honey cakes. They decorate the lair. Hmm, that's a new word, lair. It means his home. And the bear lives in this den. It's a surprise springtime party for their good friend bear. What are they going to have for bear? Let me read it again. It's going to be a springtime party for bear. That's right, they're going to have a party for bear. Bear rubs his tummy. He smells something yummy. And he wants more. Let's try that again. Bear wants more. He smelled that food. Where do you think Bear is going to go? Let's see if you're right. He's going to his den. That's where he lives. Bear sniffs and he shuffles as a sweet breeze blows. Those all have buzz sounds. Breeze blows. He romps to his home. He follows his, what do you smell with? Your nose. His friends yell, surprise. When he gets to his den, but Bear is so Big. Who is big now? You're right, it's Bear. Bear is big. Why do you think he's big? Yeah, he eats all the food and he still wants more. He's too big and he can't fit in. Bear will. What luck, I am stuck, stuck, stuck. Ooh, those were tricky sounds. Let's try that with our snake sound. Sss, we're going to bring our tongue up. Stuck. Our last sound is that back sound. Our tongue is back and our mouth is open. Let's try it again. Stuck. Stuck. He's stuck in that hole. Do you think he's going to get in the den? Will you think yes? Some of you think no. Let's find out. He's stuck in his own front door. Mouse squeals. Poor bear. He is wedged in so tight. 
Here tugs, Raven pushes with all of their might. Do you think they're gonna get Bear out? Hmm. Some of you say yes, some of you say no. Let's find out. Badger gets a stick and he pries so hard that Bear pops out and lands on his yard. Let's try our popping sound. Right, it was Bear. He popped out. Since Bear is so wide, they party outside. Where did they have the party? Did they have it inside or outside? The party is outside. Do you think Bear is still hungry? You're right, and he still wants more. Bear opens presents. He gobbles honey cakes. That's a new word. Let's try gobble. That has one of our back sounds and our lip sound. Gobble. What do you think gobble means? Let's look at the picture to help. Gobble means eat. And what do you think Bear is eating? Hmm. That looks like something yummy. Let's see if you were right. He eats so much that his tummy aches. All of those chocolate chip cookies. How does Bear feel after eating all that food? Let's read it again. He eats so much that his big tummy aches. He doesn't feel good. His tummy hurts. He ate too much. Has that ever happened to you? He snuggles in the grass and he snores big snores. Ooh, that has our snake sound in it too. Let's try snore. Our no sound was in there too. Let's try again. Snore. He snores. He is full, full, full. Does Bear want more? No, but his friends, his friends want more. The end. All right, friends, now it's time to stand up. We're gonna do some of the things that Bear and his friends did in the story. What's the first thing that happened? Bear was, Bear was sleeping and then he woke up. So I want everyone to lay down. Sleeping and then we wake up. Let's stand all the way up. Wake up. So Bear wakes up. The second thing he does. Let's see if we get a story. Do you remember what he does with his paws? He digs. Let's try. Dig. Now we're going to take our bear paws. We can either get on all fours and go to the floor or we can dig. Dig, dig, dig. Dig faster. Dig slower. And stop. Good. And then, Bear sees his friend. Who's the first friend he sees? Does anyone remember? He sees mouse. Let's try that. Mouse. All right, we're gonna get like, do like mouse does. And we're gonna hop on Bear's back. Let's hop on top. And bear mouse and hop on top. We have another hopping friend next. Anyone remember his name? He is called a bunny, but he's also called a hare in the story. A hare. Let's get our bunny paws together. We're gonna hop three times. Ready? One, two, three. We are hopping. Let's see what happens next. Ooh, they found some of those berries and clovers. What did they do with those? They ate them. So we're gonna pick some berries, get them off the bush, and put them in your hand. We're gonna eat them. Mmm, how do they taste? Let's eat three, ready? One, two, three. We eat three berries. Do you think they were sweet or sour? 
Ooh, if they weren't ready, they might be sour. But if they're red and ripe, they are sweet. Then, Badger comes along. Does anyone remember what Badger did? We went fishing. So, we're going to get in our boat. Head me on your boat. Get your fishing pole. Ooh, it's tall. And we're going to bring it back and bend it forward. Ready? Back and forward. Go! Shh. Be quiet. Take your little fish. Oh. Bring your pull back. I think I caught one. We're going to reel it in. So we're going to take our hand and wind it. Quick. Bring it back. Did you catch a fish? Oh, look. Mine's big. Do you think we should eat it or put it back? I'm going to put this one back. What do you think? Was your fish little? Or was it big? Oh, some of you had little fish and some of you had big fish? Ooh, you could either eat it or put it back so it can swim. We have a few more to do. Oh no, at the end of the story at the party, can we remember what happens when Bear tries to go in his home in the den? He got stuck. And he popped out, so this one's a little tricky. So what you're going to do here is roll up into a ball. Roll on your back. Pop out. Try to roll forward. Let's try that again. Grab your knee. Roll back and pop up. Let's try that one more time. Go back. Grab your knee. Roll back and pop. That one's pretty fun. And the last part, after they ate all the cookies, they went to sleep. So you're gonna lay down and go back to sleep. Good morning, everybody. I miss you all so much and I can't wait till we're back at school together and we can play and have fun and do lots of work in OT together. So Miss A just finished reading you the book, Bear Once More, and so now, just like we do in our group lessons every week, I'm going to do a craft. So, here's what we're going to work on today. It's a bear. I used brown paint, some googly eyes, I used some cardboard from my recycling for the ears, and some paper from the recycling for my nose. So I'm going to turn the camera down so you can see what I'm working on and you'll just hear my voice. So I've got a white piece of paper, some paint, brown paint, and a fork. So what you're gonna do is dip the fork in the paint and just push it around. You can try smearing it just pushing it in different directions. I think I need a little bit more paint. Mm, now I'm getting somewhere. So here I am pushing the paint from the middle to the sides with the fork. Spreading it all around to make my bear. Okay. So once you have your picture like you would like it, you can put on your ears, tobacco for coffee box, on top, so your ears go at the top of the bear, and get your googly eyes. And put your googly eyes under the bear's ears, almost in the middle. And then you can 
cut out a nose, you can use a heart-shaped nose, a circle nose, and you have a bear. Isn't he awfully cute? Now, if you don't have paint, if you don't have paint or googly eyes at home, that's okay. Here's another one that I made. I'm going to turn the camera again because I can't lift it up very well. I used Play-Doh. I used a fork again and pushed it into the Play-Doh. I used ears. I had pom-poms for some eyes. I had a pipe cleaner that I turned into a nose. You can get creative and do this in so many different ways. All right, friends, I've enjoyed doing a craft for you. Take pictures and send it to either Miss A or I so we can see what you've made afterwards. Stay safe, everybody, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye. Friends, it was so nice to read a story with you today. Please let your parents know what your favorite part was. Did you like a favorite part of the story? Did you like doing all the moves? Or did you like doing the craft? Or did you like all of them? And parents, please email us with feedback. We would love to know what you liked about it, what you want more of. Did you like this activity to do at home? How can you do more of this at home? So make sure while you're reading with your children, when you have the book, it's best to do it face to face so you can see, but it's really hard to read sideways and upside down. So if not, you can read side by side and make sure when you're reading them, you turn to them and keep working on those sounds. So today we did a lot more than just want, more, eat. We did hungry. We worked on mmm, b, k, g, and th. Lots of sounds to work on. So you can go around the house and again, find some of those sounds. We hope to see you all soon that you have a great week. Bye.